Hey guys, it's Michael. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a new workout vlog. Today, full body day. That means we're starting with a bit of skill work, muscle up and planche, going over to legs, um, free exercises, squats, um, leg press and the GHR and at the end a bit of shoulder isolation work. I wish you as always a lot of fun with the workout vlog. If you have questions, just let me know in the comments and if you want to work with me as your personal coach then definitely hit the link in the description book your free consulting call and then yeah we talk about how i can help you with my coaching service so stay tuned for the video short disclaimer why the video looks a bit different and the quality is not as good uh, i was training alone haven't filmed a youtube video the whole week so i couldn't send uh, camilo some files so he could cut it so i cut it that one myself again as you can see but i hope you still like it <laughs>
guys, I just finished my last squatting set and that I tell you was hell of a mental challenge. If I take a look at the video, it doesn't look that heavy, weight moved good, depth could be better, but in my head it was like RP12 from the first warm-up set on. Didn't fail it at all, but kind of proud of myself that I still pushed through. Um, yeah, so learning probably is uh, don't always listen to your body. <laughs> Sometimes uh, it's, it's in your head and you need to push through. Um, yeah, just wanted to share that at this point of the workout with you. Now, continuing to um, the leg press. Now, heading over to the first working set of the leg press. So you don't think I'm cheating on the weights. We have 60 kg. This is a 20 kg plate. So 100, 150, then 190, 230. To 60 to 70. First working set 12 reps flat. Control negative. legs I had uh, three sets of back squat ramping them up as you saw from 150 to 160 did two sets of the leg press plan was free but uh, I was just too exhausted for the third one then three sets GHR went good and now at this point of my workout actually it would be um, overhead press um, I'm gonna try the first set now but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it today because I'm a bit um, yeah, well, let's say I have a recovery issue at the moment. Um, I think in an in a earlier video I told you that I have like some chest coracoid brachialis pain on the left, um, which I thought was from like um, a bit too much bench work. That was not the case <laughs> because now it started also to flare up on the right and it always occurs after the low bar and so the low bar back squat. And the reason for that is I changed my technique there a bit, um, working now with a better compression, which blew up the squat, so it worked great. But therefore, as I'm compressing more, shoulders are moving more forward, so I'm going a bit more protracted under the bar. And uh, I'm creating a lot of pressure forward to like really build my shelf and like create tension against the bar. And so I'm pressing forward and upward to counterbalance the bar. And the coaco brachialis, which hurts, does one of its main functions is like to compress um, the humerus into the socket of the shoulder joint. And this happens a lot if I like, you know, have 200 kg on the back and push it up, and my chest pushes the shoulders forward. And so chest and coaco brachialis just um, yeah, are doing way much more work, um, contracting isometrically the hell out of the muscle. I'm doing the squatting sets and that is yeah just too much for my recovery so I have constant like soreness a bit of pain in the chest super annoying 
So I will see how the overall trend goes. Uh, you probably wonder what I'm gonna do about it. Um, I started with just doing nothing because the body is, uh, yeah, um, like it's a thing that adapts, like muscles adapt, you get stronger. So if you like really give your body stimulus, it will react with adaption. So um, I hope that just two to three weeks in the future, my chest will just adapt and that it can handle the load. If uh, that is not the case, which I don't think that will be, because as I said, usually the body just adapts if it's just a bit of an overloading problem. Um, if that's not working, I will need to um, decrease the volume in push or I will need to change uh, the squatting technique again, which I don't want to do. So I will keep you updated on this as, um, yeah, the soreness is manageable. If it would be like really hard pain that, you know, prevents me from working out at all, I will definitely act differently. But for now, as it's just a bit of discomfort, uh, yeah, I'm gonna just push through. And now I'm gonna try the overpress. Hey, first set. Going pretty light, 50 kg on the bar, aiming for 10 reps, pretty low RPE. And then seeing how chest and shoulders feel about it. I think I'll go for two reps instead of three. Ah, oh, it should be good. 